<coughs> okay, and so let's go over to add entry. This is where you physically report a new bug. Okay, so we are on the add entry page, and at the very top, top of the page is the title, and uh, I like to put in brackets where it's taking place, so this is just technically a test bug, and uh, this is showing off the database. And uh, the current status of the bug is always open when you first place it in the database. Uh, closed means that all the steps have been taken, it's been verified and fixed, and uh, it is no longer an issue, and it's been verified that it's no longer an issue by the QA team. So we actually, in the QA team, have to physically close it ourselves. Under review just simply means that the uh, whoever has assigned, who was assigned the bug, probably either Jim or Ty or Cecilia or Robert or somebody on the art team means that they are actually looking at the bug and it's uh, about to be decided on. Uh, fixing means that they've found the solution to the bug and they are currently in the process of either recoding it or doing something to the uh, art to fix whatever's wrong with it. WNF stands for will not fix. That means that the bug is either too small of an issue to concern ourselves with or we just don't have the time to fix something like this. Uh, once it's will not fixed, we'll have to go send it back to anybody who has a say in whether or not it should be fixed. And then uh, once it's determined that it will not be fixed, then it can be closed out. CNR stands for cannot reproduce. Cannot reproduce means that the bug does not occur very often and is, is very hard to reproduce. So whenever they tried to reproduce the bug, for whatever reason, they were unable to um, get the bug to happen again. That doesn't necessarily mean that the bug is completely fixed and gone. It just means that the bug happens very rarely, and in our case, we weren't able to reproduce it. So if it continues to be very rarely reproduced, we can eventually close it out just based on the fact that it's, it's such an unlikely bug to run into. CNV stands for cannot verify. This is also for the QA people who are trying to go back and reproduce the bugs. Cannot verify uh, takes place when a bug uh, is cut off from the user. So basically, if uh, there's a bug that takes place in a specific room and the uh, programmers actually put a door, a locked door on that room, we can no longer get into the room to physically view the bug itself. So we don't know if the issue has been fixed, but technically we can't get to the issue. So that is a type of um, fix that's pretty valid. And uh, that's just technically a cannot verify since we weren't able to uh, reproduce all the steps necessary to do the bug. And uh, it can possibly be closed out from there. By design, this means that uh, it's not actually a bug. Whoever uh, was in charge of designing the specific functionality or the specific texture or whatever we're looking at, that means that um, it's intended to look that way and it's intended to play that way. So it's not technically a bug. Verified is basically that um, once the bug has been fixed, that the QA team has gone back and they have checked the bug to see if it's still there and it is not still there and uh, we changed the status to verified that it is the the fixed bugs is no longer a problem fixed is once the uh, the art team or the development team has actually addressed the bug and uh, fixed the bug in the most current build and that it is now ready for the QA team to go back and check and see if it still occurs Reopened, that's, it's kind of a rare bug, but um, it's a bug that was somehow fixed in a previous build and then later on somehow recoding the game has um, caused the bug to occur once again. So um, this usually occurs once a bug is closed, fixed, and um, 
we have to reopen it again because it's it's reoccurring. So right now this is a new bug, so we'll leave it in the open state. Uh, the type of bug can be several things. Um, right now, uh, the bug you just saw was functionality. That relates to anything um, in the game itself, anything that has to do with playing the game and um, possibly interacting with the game, basically pressing buttons, and if something happens that's not intended, that's going to be functionality. Graphical UI, it is anything that relates to textures or the visual representation of the game itself. Um, could possibly be text or dialogue that you see on the screen, anything related to that. Localization, I don't think we'll have to concern ourselves with until we go overseas with this game, but it's just anything related to translating the game from one language to the other. And uh, technical requirements are anything behind the scenes of the game, such as um, system requirements or any sort of um, errors that we run into that have to do with possibly the, the internet browser or anything like that. So we'll just say this is a graphical UI bug. Assigned to, I'll probably have to extend this list a little bit further for anybody who needs to actually take a look at this before it gets fixed, but these, this is just a list of whoever you're going to um, hand the bug off to once it's been entered into the database. So this person will now be responsible for the bug and uh, they will have to either comment on it and send it to somebody else to be worked on or actually start fixing it themselves. And so I'll assign this to myself. And uh, reported by, you just put your name in there, whoever is actually uh, creating this bug right now. And um, uh, that's important just so that if we have any questions about the bug itself, we can ask whoever had reported the bug and then uh, get that all settled. Severity. Um, this is fairly important because it basically tells you um, how often the bug occurs and how big of a deal this bug is. So uh, Showstopper doesn't really occur until we're ready to actually um, send this game out into the world. So um, if it's there's some issue that's um, fairly pressing, then we'll need to assign a showstopper to it, and it should be addressed first among any of the other issues. Uh, critical is a crash or any sort of freeze or some sort of progression um, break, which is uh, the fact that the player can't progress through the game. There's some bug that's preventing them from uh, finishing either the level or the game itself. And this can happen any any time during uh, development. So this is the highest level of bug is the crash or the progression break. Um, major issues are um, just below uh, crashes. It could be uh, any number of things, but it's it's mostly just something that is um, seen by the the player quite a bit. So if this bug happens quite a bit, then it would probably be a major bug. Most uh, functionality type bugs are, are fairly major just because uh, it's it's much more frustrating to have problems with your controls than possibly something some sort of text bug that you can understand and work around. Minor is what I usually assign to um, any flickering textures or textures that aren't there or possibly misspelled words or anything like that. If, uh, if it's easy to understand what the misspelled word is trying to be, then I would probably la label it as minor. But if it's a misspelling or a grammar mistake that completely sends the user in the wrong direction, I might actually bump that up to a, a major. And then suggestion is just anything that you want to add to the database to, you know, help make the game a better experience. Um, this isn't, it's not necessarily a bug itself, it's just something that you would like to see done within the game. Um, so I'll just say that's a suggestion. And then it automatically puts in the current date so you don't need to worry about what the date is.